welcome to this channel traders today i want to show you how to find snipper entries using the cci okay yesterday we spoke about the parabolic but today we're on the cci on our mobile strategies okay i used this strategy to close these profits let's say today okay so i use this strategy to close these profits let's come back here and it's a real account okay so the strategy is simple traders maybe first thing let me comment about top-down analysis i know that most traders most of you have heard about top-down analysis listen traders please don't confuse yourself yourselves with extra information what i can say about top-down analysis is that if you want to find long-term trades do this strategy whatever i'm going to show you do it on a higher time frame like h4 you do the same thing you keep the rules if you want to find even longer trades longer term trades swing trades you can do the same thing on the daily time frame but if you are interested in scalping you can do it either on the 15 minutes time frame which i'm going to use today or on the five minutes time frame that's the best and easiest way to use these different time frames so please don't confuse yourself okay so here is how you do this strategy i'll show you the setup by the end first thing i have uh, my rsi there the rsi is a very powerful mobile indicator traders it might be not that powerful on computer but right here it is so powerful when it comes to identifying the trend okay so when the rsi is coming from the upper level and moving downwards you know that it is on a downtrend and you are looking for sell entries only okay so right on the rsi it is where you determine whether to buy or sell but now let me just analyze for you here you can see that price came to touch the nine line level and is now moving upwards usually they talk about uh, or they complain that this rsi being is repenting what you do is you move it like this back and forth to see if it is not jumping away from the nine line level if uh, the indicator or if the setup is not that much effective it is going to jump away from the nine line level when you do this for example if you can check right here on the envelope or the line that is within the rsi if i move it back it jumps to touch the nine line level up there okay but if i move it forth it is now away from the nine uh, 99 level so that is how you confirm if this thing is repainting or not but right now it is not repainting since it is not repainting we are now looking for buy entries okay and we are even late for this buy entry uh, because what you observe is right here once you have confirmed that you are looking to buy the moment uh, that line on the cci comes above the 50 line level the upper red line you take a buy so right here you would have taken a buy trade let's use this let me just zoom in a bit this is how you use the zoom levels traders some of you usually ask that for this strategy what is the zoom level the zoom level has no strategy it depends on your eyesight if you can be able to see when the chart is like this just do that but for me right now i can't see clearly so i'm going to zoom in okay so that's how you best use the the zoom levels so you would have taken your trade there you see that you would have taken your your buy trade when that uh, bullish candle closed and then you would be in profit right now so that's how easy 
this strategy is. It even makes you to enter the market earlier than the parabolic. Let us just add our parabolic on the main chart. We add parabolic and then press done. So for you to find a buy entry on the parabolic, remember you observe this upper line, okay? And then you focus on where the line started there. The first dot, you mark it like that as a key level so that when price closes above it, you take a buy trade, okay? So your buy would be somewhere there. But right here, it has given you a sniffer entry, which is there. You can see the difference that this one gives you sniffer entries, okay? But the parabolic gives you a more secure trade because if you find the trade, it will mean that you have entered above this key level of which for this one, price might just reject there and continue moving downwards because on the higher time frames it is on a uh, downtrend okay so this one is more secure the parabolic but for those who want snipper entries to scalp to be in and out this cci is the way to go the settings let's come to that f uh function up there let me just delete everything uh, delete let's start with the rsi that one is very easy rsi uh, period one apply to close just at these levels and then once you have copied the levels go back and press done and then you go to the F function up there on indicator window one, that one, add the envelopes, okay, copy as is, period one, deviation zero, exponential, close, press done. And then let's add our CCI, F function again. This time you are coming to the main chart, that one okay on the main chart you add the cci commodity channel index okay it's just the default stuff the only thing you have to change are the levels minus 50 you sell plus 50 you buy and then you go back and press done there you have your indicator so I hope you have gotten the rules for a cell it's just the same thing let me find a cell example okay you see that right here price was not repenting okay when i move it back and forth it doesn't jump away from the 999 level so what you do you wait for price to come and close below the minus 50 level there and there that is where you would find your your cell entries let me just zoom in okay so your first cell entry would be there okay and then your second cell entry would be there okay so that is how you do this thing traders please practice it very well on a demo account i also have demo accounts where i do much of my practicing okay so i wish you the best as you try out this strategy